Happy, what screen is this Friday? <laughs> During the break, we used a calculator to spell out boobs plus hell, and it, the digital root of that is six. It is. And then we did boobs plus hell backwards. Hell was spelled backwards. It all equals root. six. Yeah, and we're back. I don't think anyone is here. This is the room that we started in. <laughs> what, what next? next? Finish searching. Finny. They looked everywhere they could think of, but Snake was nowhere to be found. Overboard. <laughs> it's hard to find snakes. Sleeping with the fishies. Yes, and the rapture finally happened. Uh, snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. Lotus looked around at six frustrated faces and spoke. We can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. Junbei couldn't disagree with what she was saying. He wanted to. Because <laughs> that's <laughs> his thing. Snake seemed to have completely disappeared. There was no point to wasting any more time. The others seemed to be having similar thoughts, but they stayed silent. Finally, Seven spoke. Uh, we don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not going to find Snake. I killed him. <laughs> I'll be here all week. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. You, yes. I have a proposal. Sorry, I was looking at her boobs. <laughs> you, oh, like that soldier my boy. Boobs in hell. She walked back and forth across the floor, her heels clicking against the wood. Oh, I didn't need to make <laughs> the sound. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, she stopped. Phew. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Whoa, what? Dang, Lotus. Sacrifice. Okay, you are the devil. Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. How about you? Lead off with that. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? Bless you. Thanks. We can't all make it through those doors. <laughs> Stop sneezing. Bless you. I'm an elephant. Seven. <laughs> If we split into two teams of four and three people, respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people, respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Leaving three people with two teams of four and three? What? Wait, what? What? I bet no. that's just to repeat what she just said, But right? I think it's not sure, because, like, the three other people could potentially go through the door as well, right? I don't know. What does boobs Not mean? sure. Junpei wasn't quite sure that was true. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh. Two people get left behind if we split into five and two. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. Yeah. But if we split into a four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my God. Uh, equals eight, seven, eight, one, nine. What's the digital rule of this? Six. Six what? Whoa. Okay, you're right. All right, Lotus is right. Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we get through door seven with one, four, five, and six. Who's left over? That would be 378. Took you a minute. All right. What's the digital root for that? 3, Three plus, plus 7, 7 plus, plus 8, 8 equals 18. So, so I add, add 1, one and, and 8 and 9. And nine. Oh, sorry, I missed the cue. What, yeah. were you, where were you? I'm sorry. It was in my head. Exactly. Think about but boots. door 9 yeah. isn't here, right? That means 378 won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. I've done math real quick. <laughs> These are math processors. <laughs> yeah, we're two oh, boobs. Or yeah. two, two giant processor uh, cores. It doesn't, cool one. <laughs> it doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any one of the doors. What about the blank one? <gasps> I bet you could write whatever number you want on that blank oh, one. Oh, that would huh. be really interesting if you found paint. It's a wild card. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be fun. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. Okay. No! <laughs> There's like a billion combinations! <laughs> it's a funny bit, though. Anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. When Seven spoke, his voice was strained. Then, you're saying <laughs> we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? I think that's a wild card door. Hmm. Yes, we do. 
Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. That does feel like a very Saw-esque, like, you guys could have just wrote whatever number, but you didn't. You decided to kill each so other. I think this game is going to push us towards, sac- quote-unquote, sacrificing the one. Yeah. I want us to choose to leave more than one behind. Here's the thing. Oh. Well, but... If and we a, are one of those people. If that's a wild card door, like, does it have to be in red paint? Or could we just, like, scratch our fingernails? That leaves, like, a lot of... Cut your hand off. <laughs> Mark her hand. blood. Yeah. Hmm. Go we'll get the blood the, of the ninth guy. Yeah. The blood of the ninth. Oh, yeah. Oops, I think we skipped over It's something. fine. I don't... It's fine. Guys. I deserved it. Oh, what? No, Wait, no, 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 Mike, no, 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 Mike! No. Oh. That's okay. What? Spoils! <laughs> oh, you're totally spoiled. You're totally I'm spoiled. I'm so spoiled! I'm trying to find out what you said, because you don't go Fuck. fast enough. Uh, oh, why? I'm... Okay. <laughs> Do we have a safe word? I feel bad now. <laughs> but, uh... What? Avocado. 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 What's wrong? My feelings got hurt. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. We were we were play fighting up until that point, but then my feelings. But now got we're hurt. now we're actually, we're actually oh. fighting. No. 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 It's just went, no. It's fine. It's okay. okay. I stop. <laughs> no, that's too cruel. To me. <laughs> What's so cruel about it? To to just sacrifice someone like that. Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant. We shouldn't sacrifice anyone. I told you, that's impossible. Wake up. Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. And you, Akane. (laughs) Santa stepped between Lotus and June. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is... You should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? What? Who are you? <laughs> exactly. That's how democracy works. Turns out that Santa is actually like a 70-year-old philosophy <laughs> <laughs> professor. Who is Akane? Who just dresses like a rave boy. What? Is it Lotus? Uh, no, oh, Akane boy. is June. Where are you, Ben? It's June. I don't oh, know. Yeah. All the, well, everybody no, has okay. other names. I forgot, too, except that it was my character, so it stuck in my brain a little bit. But the first <laughs> time he said Akane, I was like, huh? Yeah. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? I think the fairest way would be random, right? No, that's terrible. I'm not asking you. Shut up. What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. All right, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven? I can't say I agree with you, but... I don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. Ace isn't gonna go with this. Mm. What about you, Clover? Oh, she's here. Oh, she's so tiny. My hands are small. Yeah. I don't know how to vote. <laughs> Clover had moved away from the group and was sitting. Oh, that's why the camera angle is so low. Yeah. She's sitting on one of the beds. But it's still way weird. Yeah. Her whole body drooped. Jinbei didn't know if she'd even heard Lotus's proposal. Hey, Clover. Lotus walked over to Clover and gently laid a hand on her shoulder. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh-huh. Clover slowly lifted her face. Yeah, because there's no way to know who dies. Like, if somebody, like, hmm? died... Like, let's say uh, her brother is dead. We wouldn't know. There's no, like, class announcement. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. I mean, it's a game, so it wouldn't just, like, never mention him again. Here's what I wonder. If we leave, if, if Snake isn't dead and we leave two people behind, he could arrive and make it three, and then maybe with his two, they'd mm. be able to advance. So I'm starting to think we should leave two people behind. I definitely think we should leave more than one. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Hmm. Let's go look for him together, Okay. If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. Jeez. Lover nodded once. <laughs> the motion carries. You, are, like, you don't have to be pleased about this. Last. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I hate Lover's too. Jinbei, you're right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> the classic. The classic. The classic. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What's the word? There's a word for that archetype. Oh, yeah. Lotus spun around and walked toward Junpei. Now, let's start a vote to... 
That won't be necessary. Oh, is Ace going to volunteer? Oh, you fuck. Ace had barely spoken for Lotus's entire speech, and everyone jumped a little. Six pairs of eyes turned to look at him. He may laugh. It's a he may. Not oh, him, yeah? but Lotus, uh, yeah. He didn't seem to notice or even care. We will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? <laughs> Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. She's speaking up for him. Uh, June's voice shook, and she looked around desperately for someone to agree with her. They've got a relationship. Yeah. Ace June, simply looked at her. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. They said I would stay, but they never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you, each and every one of you. Dude, Ace is a bro. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's, opti there's optimistic, <laughs> and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them, you won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True, but that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you, once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. <laughs> you know, otherwise, we're rescuing a corpse. So. Yeah. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. Still worth grabbing. <laughs> Finally, Junpei could hold his tongue no longer. <laughs> he was literally holding his yeah. tongue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just expression. You don't have to do it. <laughs> We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then... Perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me. I thought or that said inside of me. You could stay instead. Yeah. <laughs> I need some somebody uh, to lean on. Uh, or, or, or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind. Ace's voice was dignified and without a hint of cruelty or malice. Junpei had no rebuttal. Why would he ask for June? Yeah. You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Except that we saw the goddamn flowchart. We know that there's three choices. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't oh, see well. that either. <laughs> I know how to read flowcharts. <laughs> Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go quickly. Jinpei stood frozen by indecision, unable to move. I said quickly. Huh. Don't fro no, don't, don't freeze. Jinpei hurt lips so hard that Jinpei feared she would break the skin. <laughs> Santa stood against the wall, calm and aloof. Seven tore his beanie from his head and turned it over anxiously in his hands. Oh, tore nice. his beanie. <laughs> yeah, right. Only Clover stared at Ace with an expression Junpei was unable to decipher. Lotus's attitude, however, was different from the others. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Good. Let's accept this kind of offer, then. She smiled, her eyes bright. Ace answered with a smile of his own. They fucking. <laughs> Good. I think you this think is every the best character movie. interaction is like <laughs> evidence of a much, much deeper relationship. I am on to you, 999. <laughs> Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap with you. Maybe my age, but I get tired easily these days. It might be the bomb in your gut. Yeah. <laughs> As he spoke, Ace lowered himself down to the floor next to one of the beds. Get in the bed, oh, Ace. You don't so have to sleep sweet. on the floor, yeah. bud. I will sleep. You don't see me on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I am Because I'm on floor. Yeah. I don't deserve to be on bed. From somewhere deep in the ship, Junpei suddenly heard the screeching of metal on metal. Ass to ass. It was almost as if the ship were screaming. Would it really hold until the time limit was up? And that was a dumb joke. I'm Already. sorry I said that. <laughs> it's okay. We forgive you. Thanks. Yeah. D-deck was flooded. In the sudden silence, the only sound was the sad metal wail of the ship. Unsurprisingly, it was Lotus who spoke first. He hates her. Yeah. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? As if a spell had been broken, the others all began to talk at once. Come on, let's well, right. just go ahead. Keep going. Yeah, let's all just do what we can right now. I'm really nervous <laughs> about it. Seven. Ser seriously? Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. I'm sick of you. Now get out of here, Santa Claus. You too, Santa? You I, I have to find my brother. But wait, all of you, let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. R right, Jumpy? Say something. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's... He takes out his calculator let's and think. <laughs> <Boops again. laughs> let's think. Um, I've got this. So this would... 855. 855. Ass. 
<laughs> oh, that's what we should have tested. Ass? Bass? Yeah. Oh, wait, the four that... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it'd be... Ha- yeah. His, he'd figure out something. <laughs> yeah, let's think. There's got to be another way. His words sounded hollow and fake. Yeah, definitely. 100% another way. Fine. Forget about it. I'll figure it out on my own. Okay. She spun around and ran toward Ace. Embrace. He had slumped down next to the bed when June Embrace. grabbed his arm and pulled. That was good. Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. How do you know each other? Then it happened. Uh-oh. He's an android. <gasps> Ooh. He's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> He's elderly. Ace fell forward. He slumped over on the wooden floor, his body folded in half like a boxer out cold. It's not folded in half, but all right. <laughs> Ace! Ass up. <laughs> he fell mm-hmm. over ass up. If his body's up. folded, yeah. yeah. It would be. It would be ass up. <laughs> they didn't want to draw him that way. That's not very <laughs> like, dignified. Show some respect. <laughs> this man's name is Lion. <laughs> June cried out and dropped to her near- knees beside him. Daddy. Would, if he died like that, do you think like instead of respectfully covering his eyes, she like respectfully lowers his ass? <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yeah. June so he doesn't her- like rigor mortis in yeah, that pose. Yeah, exactly. They can't get him in the coffin because oh, his ass is just too much. <laughs> they're at the funeral and the coffin lids open and just his ass <laughs> is sticking out and they're like, well. Couldn't do anything about this. I guess, they just hung yeah. a sign that, on it that says sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are laying flowers on top of it and mm-hmm. they're like, hmm. well, he died the way he lived. <laughs> Wouldn't it be he also died, died the way he likes to, to fuck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, ass, ass to the ass to the sky. What? How? How's that song go? <laughs> Head down, ass up. That's the way I like to fuck. Is that? I don't know. Lyrics. You're yeah. correct. Oh, Beth boy. knows. Uh, wait. Oh, fuck. Okay, June's. Would you not read that? No, I God didn't. Damn it. I was too busy thinking about his funeral. Avocado. What? This is really nice, though. Um, she reached around his neck and and pulled him oh, up. Oh yeah, or something. What with her tiny his... hands? Say something. She shook him frantically. His eyes fluttered open. Oh, where am I? I'm all right. His voice was weak and slightly slurred. Oh, how are you? All right. This. He held out his left arm and slowly opened his hand. What? what? A syringe. It was a syringe and a small vial. The vial was empty. It had only recently been emptied. A few drops clung to the sides. So poor. Kool Aid. <laughs> there was a label taped to the side of the container. It read Soporil Beta. Soporil Beta? It's probably June. Yeah. Soporil Beta? What does this do? Did, did you use this? Yes, it's just the end of the day, everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? You think it's what you like. My hands are so dreams. small. <laughs> Why is everyone's hands so small? <laughs> Anesthetic. I found it earlier. <laughs> You don't you put that why would you inject anesthetic into yourself? Maybe he's an addict or is like in constant pain otherwise. Or maybe oh maybe he's putting himself to sleep so he dies like peacefully. Oh. He's like, I'll go to sleep and then I'll either die is or he, he did scared? Say that. Yeah. What's going on? Why did you do this? Didn't they do it? I'd like to take a nap. Is he really? He killed himself? He really is. I think it's just anesthetic. I think he's just putting himself to sleep. So that Anesthesia. That's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Junpei knew that wasn't why he'd done it. As antiseptic? antiseptic what am I thinking? Antiseptic is disinfectant. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah. what I'm thinking of. Oh, like, no, why would you inject that to yourself? <laughs> no, he's like, he injected poop water? Yeah, he's like... Yeah, that's the septic tank. That's a septic. Yeah. Yeah. This is regular septic. septic. <laughs> oh, we're a mess. Yeah. Ace had injected himself with anesthetic. Gotcha. So he's going to just go under. Go to sleep. Yeah. So he'll wake up immediately. It just, he'll, it, have you ever been put under? Oh, yeah. Then it's like there's no dreams. Immediately no. you wake up. Yeah. After you go. Okay. So he's either going to wake up and be rescued or rescue, be, wake up and be underwater. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Beth EXE stopped working. <laughs> beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Uh, he injected together. himself with anesthetic to forestall Junpei and Jun's attempts to bring him along. Oh, or that. He couldn't move. There was nothing they could do. And oh. giant man. He'd injected himself so they would all be forced to leave him behind. Uh, I don't know. Seven's really Ace. strong. Yeah. No, I was thinking, say, 
I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? <laughs> no, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> you feel what? <laughs> so comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. No, we went over this. There are no dreams when you use it. No! Ace's eyelids drooped further and further. <laughs> almost as though he were dying. Oh. Ace! Ace! She shook his shoulder again and again. But this time, he didn't respond. Who was the... Who was stink? Who was stink? <laughs> Only the gentle rising and falling of his chest told them he was alive. Junpei was relieved to see he was... In fact, still breathing. Yeah, she also didn't realize that it was an anesthetic. Yeah, yeah, Junpei was like, are you trying to clean your veins? Nah. Let's get him up on a bed. Ass up. <laughs> he lifted Ace up, the f up off the floor and laid him on the bed he'd been leaning against. Yeah, you feel bad now, don't you, Dancer? <laughs> when Junpei turned around, Lotus gave him a look of pity. Uh, well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. Right? Like you even mean that. Oh. You say something? Yeah. No, no, nothing. <laughs> oh, you coward. It felt wrong, but he had to agree. Then suddenly, Santa spoke. Hey! <laughs> yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in for what for door or what, hey. Ah, yes. Yes, that's true. Uh, enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. What door do you want? Ah, uh, um, I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number and my boobles. <laughs> Got it. You're eight. Your next seven. Which one do you want? Oh, will take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? Her face distorted by rage, Lotus took a step towards seven. Can I called her old? Yeah. He threw up his hands and made a face like a child caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Who, me? I didn't say nothing. Ugh, you're gonna get it next time. She shot him a glare that would have melted steel, then turned and stalked off. Old lady. What are you, superwoman? Come on. <laughs> Rejuvenation techniques. All right, who's next? Santa's gaze moved across the three people left. Finally, they stopped on Junpei. Junpei, which door do you want? At last. Junpei's mind was already made up. Eight. Oh. That's what I want. You guys can also have opinions. Um. I don't really have an opinion. I'm okay with eight. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to like get more into Lotus. Well, wait, we can we can we can nonsense. try to calculate what eight would be. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like who else would come with us? Okay, what are we? Five. We're five. Five plus eight is thirteen. Plus, so we'd have to add four. So who's f who's four? Santa's three, right? Clover is four. Clover is four. So it'd be us, Clover, and Lotus. Oh, I'm down with that. Okay. Um. Yeah, the Beth Voice Brigade for once. For once. Yeah. Eight? Yeah, what would three be, though? Three would be, if we went into three, it'd have to five be... Five plus... Five plus six is eleven. Plus two, two. but we don't have two. We don't two. have two. Um, five plus eight would be thirteen. She won't go with us. No, she won't. Uh, who's nine? Oh, uh, nine is the ninth Nine's man. dead. Yeah. Nine's dead. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh. Eight. Okay, let's just do yeah, eight. Yeah, let's go with eight. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with door eight. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that means June's gotta go through seven. Yeah. What? Why? What? Mm. Santa grimaced and muttered angrily to himself, yeah, but finally began to explain. Don't people. If the six of us are going to keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Plan A. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Plan B. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Either way, we can't go with June. Plan C, or three, six, seven, go through seven, and four, five, and eight, get eight. Wait, then why would we pick door three? That might be an option where we try to pick it, and they're like, nope, can't. 
Mm. Ah. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? As Santa finished, June looked over at Junpei, tears welling up at the corners of her eyes. You'll be, you'll be fine. Oh no. We never hang out. You're saying we can't, we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. It'll probably like be another room. Uh, Junpei felt just as June did. He wanted to be at her side through whatever trials they were preparing to face. There's absolutely no way that we can go through a door with her? That's what I it's saying? I don't think so, no. Also, I like that it's just, we love her. Yeah, Junpei is just- Junpei just loves like, her. He loves her. Period. I mean, these are heightened times, you know, so whatever- Look at all the beds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he knew that if they were to survive, he had to swallow his feelings. In order for the six of them to move forward, he and June had to be separated. He looked at June. He was scared to lose her, but he swallowed, steeled his resolve, and did his best. We to only smile. like hung out with her for thirty minutes. Yeah, most this of which you day. suspect her of being the mastermind. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, come on! You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors. Remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Y yeah, probably. <laughs> probably? She didn't sound very hopeful. It was seven that interjected. I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? It's just like the Titanic. <laughs> if they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. Hey. In other words, the game would end right here. Yeah, that's a good point. Zero's been on top of his shit so far, so don't think he'd be blow it right now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the door, through the nine door. June Ooh. said nothing. The tears were gone, but her eyes were still sad as they looked at Junpei. He met them, and with what reassurance he could manage, laid his hand gently on her shoulder. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again, I promise. June bit her lip and gave him an almost imperceptible nod. Yes. Promise? Seal it with a kiss. <laughs> oh, her voice is barely... Yeah. Sorry. Santa's voice shattered the moment. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys are done, right? He stretched and continued. But anyway, that's pretty much it. That's a goal. <laughs> Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I'll miss him though. I want him in. Yeah. Group. I'll figure out. I'll. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Clover looked away and was silent for a moment. Whatever. It was more of a dis dismissal than an agreement, but Santa didn't seem to care. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. At Santa's command, the group split and headed for their respective doors. Santa 7 and June walked through do toward door 7, while Clover, Lotus, and Junpei headed for door 8. And then Beth, Mike, and Jeff continued playing the game. <laughs> for a long moment, <laughs> they stood in front of door of the door. Then, Lotus laid her hand against her chest and turned to Junpei and Clover. And then typed in... Booze. <laughs> Booze. Booze. Because she's scary. Because she's scary. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? Beep, boop, boop, oh, oh, boop, oh baby. Boop, boop, boop. And I guess we'll find out what's behind door number eight <gasps> when, when we, we come, come back. back.